Hi everyone, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a math drills tutorial on multiplying by zero and one. This is kind of like the beginning of your times tables facts, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with the breakdown. Now we're gonna start with, you'll see some highlighted things, I'm gonna get to those later. We're gonna start with zero, okay? So if we're talking about multiplying, let's first break down what this box means, in case you don't know. Six times zero, and then we have a line. So essentially what we're doing here is this means if we're going to write this in words, six groups of zero, okay? So groups of is kind of like the multiply, what that symbol means. Anytime you're multiplying, it means how many groups of. Of is kind of like the key word in multiply because we're talking about multiple groups, okay? Multiplying groups of zero. Now, the trick is if we're multiplying by zero, we want groups of zero. That means no, like for example, if we're talking about groups of people, groups of students, whatever it is. If you have zero in a group, well, that means there's no people. And if you have six groups of no people, that's still no people. So what happens is anytime you multiply by zero, you're just going to get zero. So anytime you see a zero next to this multiplication sign, either in the top or the bottom. So it looks like most of these are in the bottom here. These are all zero. Okay. And then I don't know if there's any. Ah, here's one in the top. So zero groups of one. So if you have a group of one, but we don't have any groups, it doesn't matter how many are in the group, it's still zero, okay? So anytime you have a zero with a multiplication sign, the answer is gonna be zero, okay? Real simple, so that's like a cool little, it's not a trick even, I guess you could call it a trick, but it's a real simple solution to a multiplication problem. Anytime it's multiplied by zero, it's zero, okay? One is very similar, pretty simple also, but let's break it down a little bit further. So this problem, this would be called three groups of, okay, anytime you're talking about multiplication, we're talking about groups of, and then one, okay, so three groups of one. What would that look like? Well, we have three groups here, one, two, three, and then how many are in each group? Well, we have one in each group, okay, so how many total? Anytime we're talking about this line here, we didn't, we're didn't. we talking about terminology and symbols, we're talking about the total. Underneath this line, we're talking about the total goes down there. So how many total people or things are in these groups. We have three groups. In each group is one. So that's one. Let me get my little red dot here. One plus one plus one. Th how many total? We add up all these groups and that's three. Okay. What do you notice? Well, three times one is three. Let's see if we have a pattern here. So for the second problem, instead of three groups of one, we're going to have only two groups of one. So let's write out what that would look like. Well, we're going to have, let me get rid of one of the groups. Okay, so we have how many, we have two groups and there's one in each group. What's the total? Let me get my red dot, one, two. This time we only had two. What's the pattern? Anytime you multiply by one, it's gonna be whatever that number is, okay? It stays the same. So 11 times one, you guessed it, is gonna stay 11. This is what's known as the multiplication uh, identity property of multiplication, okay? So identity, property, multiplication, that means the number stays the same. Eight times one is eight. We don't know this is zero, and this is zero. Five times one is five. Now, the reason why I have these two highlighted, because one is six times one, and the other is one times six. Is there a difference? Difference, And let me just talk about that real briefly. So I already said there's six groups of one. So six groups of, I already talked about the multiplication is groups of. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six six groups and then we have one in each group and if we total that up one two three four five six the answer is six okay is one times six any different well this is a little bit different because we have one group of six so we're going to have one group this time and how many are in this we have six in that group well, what's the total? Well, there's only one group, and there's six in that, so the total is six. It stays the same, but the grouping's a little bit different, but you'll notice that the total stays the same even if we switch it around, okay? And that's another property of math, uh, mathematics that you'll learn about a little bit later, okay? But it's, it's that simple. It, it's an identity property, meaning four times one, four, seven times one, seven. It stays the same if you multiply by one. If you multiply by zero, it's always zero, okay? So these are kind of like the two simplest ways we can multiply and that's why these are the ones that you start off with first. If you're interested in more, uh, learning more about the times tables, I'm going to have much more videos coming forward on this channel or on mathdrills.com. Make sure to check it out. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.